Boeing Ebenezer Baptist Church and Friends. This morning's inspiring verses which are a little hard to hold on to because it's quite windy. Psalm chapter 9 verses 9 and 10. Some beautiful words here for us in our times of trouble. He says the Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. We have a lot of hard times around us at the moment. Even if there's nothing bad happening in your life, it's still easy to get oppressed because we're locked down, we can't go to the shops, we can't go out to our friends, we can't visit our grandparents, our grandchildren, we can't fellowship together at church. So it's easy to be oppressed. And to get depressed. I've spoken to a young lady yesterday and she's very depressed because of the things that are going on around. Because she can't go out and visit her friends and her family. So we do get oppressed. And that oppression forces us down. It, 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 it compresses us. It, it makes us small and, and feel uh, really, really bad. I have to move down a bit. I've got a poor connection. But during those times of oppression, God is a refuge. He's our refuge in times of trouble. The times that we face today that are causing us to be depressed. He's a refuge in those times. If we seek his word, if we read out the scripture, if we pray to God, if we dwell our thoughts upon him, then he's a refuge. We stop thinking about the bad things around us. We stop seeing trouble and tribulation everywhere because we start seeing the love of God in our lives and how he's caring for us and providing for us and protecting us. He says in verse, in verse 10, And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. Do you know his name? Do you know the Lord's name? Do you know what, the, what Jesus Christ of Nazareth actually means? He means that God came down to earth to dwell amongst us. To go back to heaven again after his crucifixion so he could send another comforter, the Holy Spirit, that dwells in us now. That's the comfort that we have. To know that a third of the Godhead is with us through these times of trouble. Who else would you want to be there to take care of you? He says, for, he says in the rest of the verse, For thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. When you think times are really, really hard, and you think, I'm on my own, God has left me, I, can't, I don't feel him speaking to me, I, 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 can't, I don't experience God in my life. You know, I, everything's depressing and bad. He's not forsaken you. You know, there's a, a, there's a verse in Proverbs, I can't remember where it is, I'm sure it's in Proverbs, it says God dwells in the thickest darkness. It doesn't matter how bad your life gets, how depressed you are, how oppressed you feel, God is there with you. He dwells in the thickest darkness. He never forsakes you. He never leaves you. He's always there. I hope this has been a blessing to you. It's a real blessing to me to know that. So God bless, take care, and let him dwell with you.